Evan, uh, unfortunate situation. Tell us what's your next move. Um, don't even know right now. I mean, I guess it's basically we're trying to salvage what little we can. Most of it is just sort of furnishings that might be able to just be um, cleaned up a bit. Um, we're just taking it moment by moment, you know, uh, doing a, a inventory of what, what we got left. But most of what's really important from a from a um, object standpoint has, has been has been lost, you know. So um, we're trying to just keep our keep our hope up, and um, we're kind of working on healing together as, as a family. You know? Your next location? Are you looking? Uh, any prospects? Um, haven't even got that far because it's really, you know, it's been such a long haul to get to this um, to be able to open. We haven't been open for like just over a month, you know. And um, a, year, a year and a half journey from when we left Court Street, and it's just been very, very difficult. And just the thought of starting again is overwhelming to, to our team. Um, we did it a lot with a lot of faith and a lot of um, hard work day and night. And um, I don't know, if we're going to go again, we, we're going to need to have the resources in place first because it's just, we can't do it like that again. And I, I, I just don't know. I don't know. Did you have property insurance? We, um, like, the insurance question, I mean, everyone, everyone's asking about that there, and, and all in all, like, most of our equipment-based stuff, stuff we had for years, it actually was due to be replaced. The stuff that cannot be replaced from insurance, and even if someone just gave us $10 billion and said, you can just rebuild it, you can just do it again, it ain't even like that yet, because like, we lost, you know, Lance Hayward's record, we lost Gene Steed's original guitar, we lost, um, our archive of photos and videos were lost. Um, just some of our, like, a big part of the culture hub was the culture museum to tell the story of Bermuda, our people. And so we lost Gombe costumes. We lost, like, you know, three different art collections. Um, a, a legendary percussionist heirloom drum set, drum, like percussion drums, like djembe's. It's like, that was passed on to her for three generations. I, you know, it's, it's, it's not. It's, it's more than just the money, and it's more than than um, more than more than we know at this time. What we're hoping for is that um, those that know about what the organization is about, what we've been trying to do, and what we've been doing, um, just tell them how it's affected their lives. Because a lot of times, people have made just about to be for those people, for them, um, for for me, for Gavin. It's Gavin's thing. Like no, 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 no. She's just always been about Bermuda. It's been about all people. It's been about trying to have one space, one opportunity to celebrate all that is beautiful and wonderful about our people. A safe space where no matter if you're Muslim, Christian, rich, poor, expat, local, black, white, gay, straight, whatever you want to, whatever your box you define yourself by, this is one of the few spaces that allow for those boxes to co coexist together. You know, we had a place for everybody. And, the arts and you know, creative projects that we've been known for was just the tool and, and the reason that people came together. But once they got together, they really did break down barriers and build bridges that we haven't seen before. And, and just the thought of another two-year project means that it's another two-year, three-year, five, whatever it is of work to get back to her. You know, and even now, um, despite all these different insurance issues. It's still about debt, because like a big part of the business plan of this project was payment plans with different contractors. It was um, we were very generous and, and supportive of everything. Um,